Right here we have bone marrow. Mm-hmm. That is the best part of it. I know. It is the best part, right? What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from beautiful Dubai, UAE. Today I'm so pumped because I'm finally going to Expo 2020, the largest gathering in the history of the world that features art, culture, cuisine, architecture, entertainment, and technology. Their motto is connecting minds and creating the future through sustainability, mobility, and opportunity. We're gonna explore Expo 2020 and we're also gonna be eating incredible Indian food at Kutir, Dubai. Hopefully I said it right. And this is by a Michelin star winning chef, Rohit Guy. They have an incredible menu. I am so excited and we're also going in style. We're going with Black Lane, which is a chauffeur service. My man, how you doing? Yeah, fine, good. Uh, very good, he's my chauffeur for the day. This is Black Lane, right? So Black Lane is basically a chauffeur service that started in 2011 in Berlin. And what they do is they basically can take you all around Dubai. You can go like a one stop, like what we're doing today, just going straight to Expo 2020. Or they can wait for you at Dubai Mall while you go shopping, right? It's a full experience. I'm so excited, my man. Let's do it. Let's do this. Black Lane, yes. Expo 2020, can't wait. I'm excited, a 30 minute drive to Expo 2020 and on the way we're gonna go through Sheikh Zayed Road. So that is like the main boulevard here in Dubai. It connects you with basically Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, and everything is on this road, right? So if you guys don't know about Black Lane, they have a fleet of luxury world-class vehicles that take you everywhere from Expo 2020 to the Burj Khalifa to Palm Islands. They can be booked for a single trip by the hour or you can book them for a quick ride to the airport to your hotel or have them on call while you shop or explore the city so if you fly on emirates right now so october 1st 2021 all the way up to march 31st right so march 31st 2022 they give you a free pass to enter expo 2020 so it costs nothing to enter if you fly on emirates airline which is what i did right so i just went online put my booking number gave me the ticket and that's it. I'm super excited, this is gonna be awesome. Expo 2020, I've heard so many good things. It's a once in a lifetime experience. It ends March 31st, 2022. So get over to Dubai right now to experience it yourself. And right here to the right, we have a Dubai Marina. Dubai Marina is like the best place if you're a foreigner living in Dubai because all it is is skyscrapers and lots and lots of restaurants in the marina, right? So they have yachts and from there you go to the Palm, right? And if you're staying there, you can get to Expo 2020 even quicker, of course. You know, right now it's a 30 minute drive, but here in this car, it feels so fast and having such a great conversation with my friend here. And uh, yeah, beautiful day, right? Wow, look at all the buildings. Look at that, just never ending buildings. The best part about Dubai is that it's consistently changing, right? It just keeps growing and growing and growing. And this feels like a desert out here. We just passed all those buildings. Now we have the residential community to the left, you know, a suburb over here, and over here, desert. After a quick 30 minute drive, we're entering Expo 2020. We're going to the Opportunity District Gate. That is the best place to enter to go to the restaurant I'm going to. So many different gates here, right? I mean, this is a massive place. Look at this, huge. Just the parking lot itself, incredible. My friend, it's been a pleasure. Black Lane. Thank you, sir, thank you. Yes, what an experience. Thank you so much. I appreciate it all, man. Great talk. Now you guys know, if you want to come to Expo 2020, definitely take Black Lane. Super comfortable, sustainable, quick, 30 minutes. This is the best way to do it. Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we have to get this bus. Yep. So remember guys, bring a mask. We're still in COVID times. See you next time. See you, See you next time. time. All right, right here. So, very complicated. So there's many different gates, right? Mobility, opportunity, sustainability. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how to get inside, but we're going straight to the opportunity gate because that's where my restaurant is at. Look at this, all the flags of the world right here. Beautiful, lots of people. When you come here, definitely have your ticket in your phone ready. You also have to have either your vaccine card or your PCR test within, I think it's uh, 48 hours. I'm pretty sure that's how it is here. So just know that you cannot enter 
without the PCR, vaccine card, and obviously the entry pass. It is in mobility. So I'm just gonna skip this really quick. I'm going straight over to the other side of the opportunity so we can eat. And then later we'll explore all this. It's amazing though, look at this, beautiful buildings. And as you walk through this pavilion area, you can see buildings to the left, to the right, and each one is a different country. Over here we have Turkmenistan, over there we have Kuribati, Pulau. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Palawao, right? It's beautiful buildings. Everything is so unique, so different. This is the plaza. Yeah, also. This is like this is like the main center, right? This is the center point to to mobility, sustainability. An opportunity over here, right? Yeah. So where's opportunity? Because I have to go to an Indian restaurant. See that red and orange? Yeah, yeah. right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Where are you from? From Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go. I was in Ghana like six months ago. Oh wow. I know. Fufu, Kenke. Oh. Oh, <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Chokran, chokran. Ah, people are too nice here. This is one of the best countries in the world. You have the mix of cultures, especially having this whole African, Asian, Indian mix. Love it. Look at this place, it's just gorgeous. Oh man, I love, love Expo 2020 in Dubai. And this is Opportunity District. Incredible, I love it. So many beautiful buildings, every single one is a different country. You have the main center, and you can explore here for days, days. I mean, if you want to, you could literally do one section per day, go slowly through each section. And in terms of food, it never ends, but we're going to Kutir. And right here it is, Kutir, Pan Indian Cuisine by Michelin star chef Rohit Gai. Let's go, first floor. My man! <laughs> How's it going, David? Very good, you? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, welcome, man. welcome. How's the thing? Gonna take you upstairs to the first floor. Okay. The team's waiting there. Looking forward to welcoming you to Kutir. Thank you so much. Okay. Chef. Hello, how are you? I'm very Fine. good, you? Everything is okay. Awesome, where are you from? I'm Portuguese. Mas eu falo um pouquinho de português. Kutir is beautiful, look at this. It's super elegant, chic, modern, nice green everywhere. You have these beautiful plates, look at this. It's gorgeous. Everything has its own you know, unique touches, very elegant. Now again, this is like Indian Mission Star food. It's gonna be awesome. And their menu, they have a set menu, so you can do that as well with wine pairing if you want. But then they also have very, very unique dishes. And then right here is the bar, right? So the bar is beautiful. This this reminds me of going to London, man. This is like London right here. Is that? Yeah, right? <laughs> it's sure is. So my friend, what are we doing? We're making a, one of our signature cocktail, which is not cut. It's where we're bringing with some mixed spices, yeah and it will be really small and smoky flavor you will enjoy it. This cocktail looks incredible. Lots of things going into it. He's also gonna smoke it. He's gonna smoke it. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, it smells incredible. It's like almost like incense here, yeah. right? We're gonna try this cocktail outside because it yeah. is beautiful, nice breeze today. It is December. Okay. Right here. Naka, one of their signature cocktails. I mean, it looks absolutely incredible. Oh, it smells so good. Spices. Mm. Oh, wow. Nice and smoky. Mmm. All right, enough of the cocktail. Let's go to the kitchen. All right. I'm starving. Sure. <laughs> let's go. David, let's go inside. Let's make some dishes. We're in the kitchen, how you guys doing? Oh, hey, my friends. Oh, what are you guys making? Already cooking? Yes, it's coming already. This is a lamb shank for you. Lamb shank? Yes. Lamb for shank. me? Yeah, of course. For you. Oh my gosh. And you? And yeah, it's a, it's a chicken biryani. Already we are start set and the rice is almost getting ready. And we are the stage and... Oh, yeah. The aroma here, it just like hits you, right? The fragrance from the biryani, you have the saffron right there. So what biryani is this? It's a chicken biryani. Chicken biryani. Perfect. And then here we have the lamb shank. Yes. Look at the lamb shank. So we're making the naan and here we're having the kebabs. Chicken tikka kebab. For the uh, chicken tikka masala. 
and here this is the prawns. So here in the tandoor, they're making the chicken for the chicken tikka masala, right? So they have to put it in the tandoor. It bakes nice and moist, super delicious, juicy, and then they put it with the base, the gravy, yes. right? So what do we have there? There's like a parota. Yeah, one is a little parota, and then the one is a roti. You must be careful around the tandoor. Like literally, if you go like this, you like burn all your hair. 500 degrees right there. Yes. 500 is super hot. Careful in your hand because you Oh, I know, I know. You know how many cameras I've burnt because of this? <laughs> So as you can see, he like oh, mashed Kerala it all style. together, right? He like basically made it super flaky. That is the way they do it in Kerala yeah. or Kerala. I know very well because I am from Kerala. Also. Are you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. So we will take out like this. It's already pre-prepared. Just pour only two portions for we are uh, we have some function now. Mm, I think I need a little bit of that because that gravy smells so good. Sure, sure. <laughs> coriander it's for the garnish we put in fried onions so while you eating it will be you will get a nice flavor from the coriander and ginger I think that's my favorite part about this dish the bone marrow but the gravy you soak that gravy up with parota or the naan and it's absolutely delicious now we go to, to do the jinga basil that's the prawns you saw it from the tanto so it's sweet basil paste and you have fried basil okay and under we have like that hummus, you know, Indian style hummus with this delicious shrimp tandoor. I mean, it is amazing. I mean, it soaks up the butter, you know, it's just so moist in that tandoor. This is called channa chor garam. This is the chickpeas, pressed chickpeas. So this is a very unique Indian dessert. I mean, it's like they have it in India all over the place, but here obviously it is more like Michelin, super beautiful presentation. So it's deep fried like pancake with rabri, right? So that's like a lot of sugar, right? Of course. And then we have a bunch of berries, right? So it's a mix of berries. We have some chutney, and then this is um, crisp pistachios. Crisp pistachios. Yes. Wow. Okay. So I have three dishes to eat. I'm gonna eat everything. Yes. <laughs> Thanks. All right. So we saw they made so many good things. I'm excited. Lamb shank. Uh, we're also getting a soft shell crab. It's gonna be epic, and we're gonna sit out right out here. All right, my friends. I'm here with Simmerin, and she's gonna explain to us what we have here. So what do we got? So we've got the beautiful delicacies. So we have the starter starting with jinga basil. It's like wild tiger prawns. Then we have a soft shell crab here with some chickpeas and curry leaf. Then when we go on to your main course, we have a slowly cooked rich uh, lamb shank with a nice rich gravy. Then we have your chicken biryani. I think India and you know must be very famous biryanis, rice all over. Then we have chicken tikka masala. We have this boneless chicken tikka masala cooked in nice Indian spices. And we have a beautiful bread basket here, which has the tandoor naans, potato cauliflower naan with a plain of butter naan. And then you have a beautiful dunga raita. It is basically smoked yogurt. All right guys, so I'm gonna start off with the soft shell crab. So for this one, I literally can just pick it up and eat the whole thing, right? Mmm. Oh my god, so soft, so juicy. Mmm, look at Sasha crab. I love Sasha crab. I always get this when I go to Japanese restaurants. I actually haven't had it in an Indian restaurant yet. Yeah, and the beauty of it is that you literally can just eat the whole thing. I'm, I'm gonna dip into this. It's like a chutney here, right? Mmm, and we have some like curry leaves, Indian style, right, with the hand? Mmm, two bites and I'm done. So good. And then obviously we have chickpeas, another staple from India. Mm-hmm. I'm like literally grabbing straight up the journey through India right here. And next up we have these massive prawns. Look at this. And then you just dip it into this chutney. Again, you have the curry leaf right there. The crab just blew my mind. And I'm sure this one will too. Mmm. The chickpea puree. That's the ultimate prawn. That is the main flavor which is infused in it. Wow. I just threw on that entire chickpea puree right there. The hummus, the Indian hummus. Mm. The true seafood lover we see. Oh, I love seafood. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. So juicy. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. My friends, I fasted for about 18 hours before this meal. I'm so happy I did because I'm gonna enjoy every single bite to the CTM, the chicken tikka masala. 
in Great Britain, they call it CTM. CTM, that's correct. CTM. <laughs> I'm eating the CTM directly from here. CTM, Look at that. How it in here. When I open my Indian restaurant, I'm gonna do my butter chicken or chicken tikka masala, either one with coconut. Make it Malabar style. Oh, wow. No one's ever done that, right? <laughs> no one's ever done that. I can't wait for this. Straight like this. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Spice level perfect. Not too creamy. I love the gravy. Mmm, the ginger just enhances the flavor. You know what? With this. And the tenderness. Yeah, you need this, right? So this is just regular naan, right? Crack it up like that. Beautiful. So you gotta dip it in, pull out some chicken, and grab all that gravy. If you ever go to an Indian restaurant and they don't have a tandoor, that's not Indian. Mmm. <laughs> Use your hands. The gravy. Ooh, the spice. You can feel the chili, the Kashmiri chili coming out. You know, this is the national dish of Great Britain, but it is one of the most delicious dishes of all time. It truly is. Going in, grabbing the gravy just like that. Beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. The flavors. The chicken. Creaminess. So right here we have the chicken dum biryani. Can't wait for this. Paired with some amazing raita. This is like a smoky raita. Yes, it's called a dungar raita. Dungar basically means smoked, and it's with your spices. You will really enjoy it. And spices, so it just goes around your palate very well. Oh man, look at this. So you gotta break up the chicken just like this. Yeah. Add one pop out. Mm hmm. Mm. The aroma. Mm. I just love it. It's so aromatic, right? That's the best part. Well, the spices, exactly the right. Where everything mixes up well. Just like Steam this. Rice, especially the basmati rice with the basmati. Beef rice in India, it gives the flavor. Mm. This is absolutely amazing. So the chicken has this nice gravy, like a nice marinade, right? And I love how it's it's still a very moist biryani. It's not too dry. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. It's pretty missing. Mmm, the onions. Nice crispy onions. And remember my friends, never leave a grain of rice. Do not leave a grain of rice. Use the five fingers. And next I'm gonna get some of this incredible smoky raita just right there. So what the raita does is it makes it more like pasty, more like a glue. Everything gets together. Just like, just move it all in. Hope you guys enjoy my hand skills. I've been told I'm pretty good. I just wanna always showcase this because people need to understand it. Big ball. Mmm. The raita? Outstanding. Outstanding. Best raita of all time. I'm almost done with my biryani, but you know what? To enhance this flavor even more, throw on some of that chicken tikka masala gravy, and now we turn it into like a, a red chicken biryani, right? And there's no other way, right? Just like that. Just form into a ball. Beautiful. <gasps> this is gonna be the best bite of the day right here. I think so. I need a second to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Whoa, guys. You have to do that. Ultimate combination. And right here we have the lamb shank. Look at this, my friends. Just pick it up like that. You can either have her cut it, or you can pick it up yourself. Look how massive this is. <gasps> so it's a slow cooked lamb shank. I'm just gonna dive in. It just falls apart. Mm. Oh, so tender. Oh my gosh, I love the gravy. Mm. Oh my god. And right here we have bone marrow. Mm -hmm. That is the best part of it. I know. It is the best part, right? With the purple we have on the side for you. It literally just falling off the bone. I feel like a caveman right now in a fine dining Indian restaurant, but it's all good, my friends. You're allowed to do this if you want to. No one's gonna look at you differently, right? Fine. My soul is satisfied. <laughs> This is the harder one to eat because I'm already full, but. Mmm. Mmm. The gravy. 
So rich. Mmm. And we also have right here. I don't even know what this is. Like a little like beetroot or something. Mmm. I'm pretty sure it is beetroot. Wow. Amazing lamb shank. Woo! And you also have amazing dessert on the way. I don't know. <laughs> Break. <laughs> <laughs> This is phenomenal. So good, so tender. Potato Purple potato. Correct. Sorry, that's I was incorrect. That's what I meant. So we have our beautiful desserts here now. So we have the Malpoa rubbery and the Trio Kofi. The name itself says it, the Trio Kofi. We have three different types of Kofi. Rose, we have saffron and we have pistachio. Where we have edible flour with some blackberries. Then we come on to your uh, Malpoa rubbery, which is our in pancake with some reduced condensed milk, berries and crusted pistachio. It's good to dive in right now and enjoy the taste and the it's a bit warm, yeah. yeah so yeah. it's good to dive into it now to get the entire flavors. And Rose, saffron, and pistachio. pistachio. And I'll tell you, my favorite is saffron. Really? It's, a... it's the most expensive spice in the world, my oh, friend. Absolutely. I mean, this is amazing. For as well. Yeah, and people don't understand what kofi is. It's basically non-whipped ice cream. That is it. Mm. Frozen fresh and very Exactly, frozen fresh. Wow, it's like creamy. The rose is the best so far. Rose took over saffron. Rose, saffron, and pistachio. This is the ultimate one, the rose. Oh, and you get it with like a little raspberry? Mmm. Oh, that's good. And over here, I'm gonna dive into like this pancake with rubbery. Mm-hmm. You know what? For this one, you gotta cut it. Mmm, this is gonna be so good right here. Look at that pancake. Oh, yes, yes. With some of that chutney right there. Get some of the berries. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. This is perfect. So good. Robbery mixed with this. It's like a, almost like a cherry chutney. Mm hmm. So good. So worth it after a heavy meal? So worth it, but I'm full. I'm done. Ready? No, I'm finished a little more. <laughs> me too. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so good. So this one reminds me of like a, like a flaky pancake. Between all these dishes, I mean, you live one life, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. With the rose. This is the ultimate Indian restaurant. In Expo 2020. Mm. No, that's that fun. Yeah, yeah, mix it to kofi. Just like that. Alright, one last bite. Here we go, Expo 2020 with a bang. Alright guys, that was an amazing meal. Finishing off with some masala chai. Have to Indian style, right? Best thing to digest. My friends. Yeah. It was amazing, sir. Yeah. You are still starving or no? <laughs> <laughs> too I'm much, sure too that much. There's a lot, but enough time to digest with the whole walk in the pavilions. Exactly, right? <laughs> so the best part about this is running for a long walk, three-hour walk now. Three-hour walk. <laughs> I think I'm going straight to India right now. <laughs> thank you thank so you much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank so you. much. Thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Yes, no we'll keep in touch for <laughs> sure. Percent. Thank you so much. My thank pleasure. you. Thank appreciate you very much. it. Not at all. You're the best. You're the best. <laughs> She's not shy. She's not shy. No. Come on. Okay, this one is one of the thematics of X. Expo. Every day, three or four times per day, they are going all around the expo with the different themes from different countries. For example, now they have the flag of, the, of Sweden and UAE because they are commemorating today the Sweden Day. And yeah, you have all these um, people dancing, singing, and uh, it's a different, it's a different show every single day. It's amazing, guys! Look at this, and we can't even pass. We have to wait here for them to completely pass, and then we'll keep going. But look at this, beautiful.
awesome. So basically a parade, right? So every single day, they have like three or four of these going through, and today was Sweden and the UAE. And here we go, going to Jubilee, we're up there. Now we are reaching the Dome, where is the center of Expo, with all the speeches from uh, His Highness, all the, the top positions in UAE, they are doing the speech, not daily, but weekly. Uh, they, Alicia Keys was singing there on Friday, um, and they do different types of uh, advertisements and parades there as well. From Jubilee you can see everything and it's stunning because all the dome is illuminated and is having always 3D uh, images passing by. So right here in the center we have Jubilee. So chef's table, Michelin star and 50 best guest chefs. Amazing. So we're going to go up all the way to the top. And this is it, Jubilee. It really resembles like a jungle feel, right? Yeah, this is a very tropical concept where you have all these flowers, all the greenery. And after we wanted to bring uh, Amazonian style to our concept because we are in Expo. In Expo we have all the countries here and we have all the cultures. And this is the best thing for us to do. And we create a champagne bar and a cocktails bar like this we have uh, touching all the points of the world uh, for everybody to enjoy. This was the best in the view is stunning yeah the view is the best part right so we have the center right here just literally looking over it it's clear so you can see and then over there we have opportunity and uh, that's opportunity right yeah. yeah that is opportunity that side okay. this is mobility. mobility the mobility in pavilion is there and the only one we cannot see is sustainability because it's that side it's all the way yeah yeah but yeah where's the borscht 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 it's Ukrainian. Yes, Ukrainian. Ah. My home, my friend. I love Bors. So that was mainly so it was chilled. This one is in high. There is. And that's how it's served, huh? Yeah. All right, here we go. Shanghai 2010. Woo! Look at that. Smoky. I don't even know what's in it. Mmm. Okay, so you said egg yolk. Yeah. Right? What else is in here? Mm. Whiskey, turkey whiskey. Turkey whiskey? Yes, caramel syrup, sugar syrup, and lemon. That's it. The lemon is awesome. So when you come to Expo 2020, definitely come up here to Jubilee, get a view. If you want, you can get a drink. They have an incredible array of cocktails. I'm good with this. Thank you so much, my friend. My Ukrainian right here. Thank you so much. You're I appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Where's the salad? <laughs> in the Ukrainian pavilion. Oh yeah, do they have borscht? They have to, have to. And maybe some cranberry vodka. <laughs> All right, now it's time to go explore the pavilions. First stop, India. I only have like two and a half hours. Usually you should spend like an entire day here, maybe three days, right? People spend time. Yeah. All right, my friends, we are making it through this entire complex. So many buildings. We're here at the campus of Germany. They say it's amazing. We have to get a big, big queue here. And over here, we have India right there. Wow, this is incredible. Look at this. Space, India in space. Awesome, man. very good, very good. It's beautiful, like walking through a jungle right here. A little sphere right here. It really has like four stories. The bottom was a little bit of the space section of India, then went through a jungle, and now we're going to, I don't know, there's a huge screen right here. Oh wow, look at this guys, insane. Holy smokes, I don't even know the city. What city is this?
I mean, this place is massive, so many different sections. I personally think the best spot was those screens. Just like that experience it was like a true Indian experience. Over here, we're just walking through different areas where it's showing you a little bit of the commercial aspect, the transportation aspect, the economic aspect of India. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's huge. And this last area before we exit is amazing. Over here, we have Varanasi, we have Jaipur, we have the Golden Temple in Amritsar. And it's the true marvels of India. These are the places you have to visit. I mean, they're just like must. First time in India, highly recommend Varanasi, Jaipur, and Amritsar for sure. That's it guys, let's get out of India, let's go explore some more. Alright, so I just learned this. The first guy to visit every single country's pavilion took four days to do it. Four full days from the time it opened to the time it closed. I just did India, it took me roughly 20 minutes. I have about two hours to go before I have to leave. So it's really hard to decide where I want to go. I mean, it's too many countries. Over here we have Spain. I might just enter Spain because I have a tie to Spain. My brother was from Spain. My nephews were born in Spain. It's the country I explored the most. Si ustedes no saben, yo hablo español. Todo listo para entrar aquí. Vamos a entrar. Listo, España. And right here, Spain. So every single one of these pavilions has a line. Most of them have long lines. Look at this. Do I have to register here? Unfortunately, the line here is a little too long for me. It's gonna take roughly 30 minutes, they said. So I'm just gonna skip Spain, keep walking around. But I wanna show you this, right? So the bridging continent. So basically, Christopher Columbus got money from the Queen to go and discover America in 1492, right? So that's when he crossed the Atlantic and reached the shores of America. And that's basically history, right? All right, let's keep going. All right, guys, so I came into the Romania Pavilion, and unfortunately, I mean, they're, they're, they're making some music over here. The best Romania. <laughs> See you in Romania, my brother. For sure, for sure. If you guys don't know, my grandpa was born in Cluj, Transcarp... Oh, not Transcarp, Transylvania. Transylvania, yeah. I'm fan of Dracula from yeah, Transylvania. Yeah, right. You, you look like Dracula. Yeah. <laughs> I'm messing with you, dude. So this is, this is silver water, right? Gold and silver. Unique in the world. You can see here. Gold and silver. Uh, aura. So I'm trying. There's silver and gold water. So basically what happens is that this spring goes through a mine, right? That's what it is? Yeah. Mine of gold and silver. Mm. Oh, so refreshing, sparkling, especially. I mean, I don't taste the gold and the silver, but it's in my body yes. now. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we are more expensive now. More expensive because of this, right? My hey brother, thank you so much. Welcome, was my pleasure. I see you in Maramush. Murish. 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 And I see you in Tangier. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice. I mean, you could literally spend days and days and days exploring. I just went in a little bit of Romania, barely saw anything. I was just talking to them for a while. Spent 30 minutes there drinking water. Um, big shout out to my Romanian and Moroccan friend there. Super, super nice, hospitable. And yeah, we're gonna keep exploring. I got about another 90 minutes to go. See what else I see. The only problem is some of these are just huge lines, huge lines right now. Obviously, try to get here early. I'd say it opens at 10. I should be here at 9.30 because they usually let people in a little earlier. All right, let's see. What else can we eat? You know what? I found Venezuela. I'm gonna go inside Venezuela. If you guys don't know, my parents were born in Venezuela. So let's go in there, see what they got. All right, right here we have Simón Bolívar. So this is the liberator. He basically pushed Spain out in a 25-year war, right? So they lost like a third of their population in Venezuela. And basically he also liberated these countries of Venezuela, Colombia, Panama, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. That's why they all have a very similar flag, right? Pretty amazing. And that is Venezuela. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien, amigo? Muy bien, muy bien. ¿Venezolanos? Claro. Claro. Caraqueños, ¿dónde están las la arepas aquí? Ah, Pequeños. Yeah. La cachapa siempre. Ah, ¿te gusta más la cachapa? Sí, sí. Mi padre son de Caracas. Sí. Ah. Pero yo soy Miami. Ah, ok. okay. Miami. -ian. Sí, sí. Gringo yeah. total. Ah, no, está bien, está bien. Man, I'm tired. Still got a few, few more minutes. Uh, roughly an hour here. Let's see what else we can find. It's actually pretty cool here it's like a like a needle you can go up to the top I don't know if it's a needle or what it is but I just saw it, it like takes like an elevator straight up oh there it is there it is 
Because I'm super limited with time, I'm not gonna go up on this. It costs 30, so I don't know what that is, like something like eight US dollars. See what else I can find. And uh, what is this, Hungary? Let's go straight to Magyar. Yes, yes, Magyar, I have to. You guys didn't know my dad's Hungarian. I'm tatted up with it. Oh, what is it? Wow, this is like really unfortunate. Every single building has a long, long line. That one's 30 minutes right here. 30 minute line. There's so many parades going through this place. As you can see, this one's like a Christmas one, right? So the women are singing Christmas carols. They're all beautiful women. And then over here, we have, uh, what is this? Like a street food, food hall. So you have like Domino's, you have a shawarma. Really nice. So if you want quick bites, you can go here. Obviously, I suggest going to Kutir, Dubai. And look at this. The Russia Pavilion looks amazing. Look at the colors there. It looks like a, I don't know, like a UFO. So we're in the Russian pavilion. Oh, very fortunate for me, there's a huge line. The security was like, you're only one person? Go in. Oh, whoa, I can hear myself echo. It's a nice echo. Woo, woo, woo. Ruski. <laughs> All right, we're up here, third floor. Look at this, beautiful. It's like cerebral, like X-Men, right? Right here, the brain. Gorgeous, love, love all the lights. It's a beautiful spot. Basically a show showing you what the brain is. It's crazy. They have a huge brain in the middle. It opens up all the lights. I mean, what an incredible show. All right, let's go see what else we can see. We still have about 40 minutes to go. On the way to the center, we just passed Angola, we passed Peru, and now we're back at the main spot. And unfortunately for me, my time is over here at the expo. But one last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the official store. I'm gonna buy some stuff for my kids. I actually got this. Give me 15% off. Somebody gave me 15% off, but I spent 200 or more, so I'm gonna buy some stuff. Wow, this place is amazing. City of the future. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice Thank to you see so you. Much. No, no problem. So, what do we do? What do, we, what do I get for my girls? You think one of these is good, right? How, how much are they? How much are each of these? This one. 49 one. only. These are the robots, actually. This is the Ale Prabhu, and this is Chera. This is the sign of the mobility pavilion. This is for the sustainability. And we have one more, it's not available right now, but that is the Opti. You can see these, all the robots around you. They are working, they are just talking to you and they'll entertain the people and, uh, and just uh, answering their questions as well. I'll show you in that show. Let's get these two, let's yeah. get these two. Sure, okay. Let's show these two. Let's go. I got this 15% off, but that's for 200, right? 200 though, you have to spend 200. My man, how you doing? Everything Fine, good? I'm good, good. Very yeah, good. I love these postcards, man. So yeah. these these are beautiful. So they're 29 each, so roughly like a eight dollars each, right? Yeah. They're awesome though. I think they're worth it. I mean, this is you could like literally frame them. Yes. You know? yeah. All right. So I'm looking for something for myself, and I think the best thing to buy would be a T-shirt to buy 2020. I think this is the best one, or this, or the plane. You know, the plane is really awesome too because the plane is a souvenir I can put in my office for life. And remember, Expo 2020 is once in a lifetime. That's it. It's not gonna happen again. Hey, let me. Can I try this on? Is it possible to try on? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it's a hundred and what? Hundred and five. So like thirty bucks for this one. But it's once. I mean, they're not gonna have it again, right? So this is the Boeing Triple Seven, and then right here we have the A380. This is a bigger plane, right? Yeah. This is nice, man. That's the plane I'm flying tonight, but this is a nicer plane. Going I'd rather to, fly this one. You are going to buy that plane you have been flying. Huh? Yeah, right? <laughs> I have a 17-hour flight tonight, man. Oh, 17 hours, crazy. 
This is nothing. So this is a fantastic gift for you. Thank you, my friend, my friend. Thank you so much. Shukriya, shukriya. 379. 379. So that's like uh, like ninety dollars, roughly. To give you a fifteen percent discount. Oh. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. Shukriya, shukriya. Beautiful. Thanks for you. My man here is too nice. He gave me a bag. Thank you so much. Thank sir. you so much, guys. Nice definitely come here to Thank this you. store, the official store. Buy something. Don't leave Expo 2020 without buying a souvenir for yourself, for your family. And thank you so much. I'll see you in India. Yeah, sure. In Rajasthan. Yeah, Jaipur, right here. Jaipur. Have a safe flight. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. And that is it, my friends. We explored Expo 2020. What an experience. If you really want to see every pavilion, it will take you four days. Get the fast track pass. I'm guessing that's what it's called because you can skip lines. You don't have to wait 20 minutes in each pavilion. That's the only problem I had. It's like I literally had to wait. Some of them, they just let me in because there was one person. Just let me just run right through. And yeah, it's an incredible experience. It's open until March 31st, 2022. You have to visit this place once in a lifetime. Gotta give a big thanks to my friends at Black Lane for bringing me here. Chauffeur service here in Dubai. You can go, you know, quickly to Expo 2020. It takes 30 minutes from like downtown area, or they can go and take it to the mall and wait for you and take you around a full day, right? And big shout out to Kotir Dubai for the delicious food. Wow, the food was absolutely phenomenal. <sighs> I'm gonna remember that lamb shank for a while. And the soft shell crab. I've never had soft shell crab Indian food style. And yeah, Expo 2020, that was awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. See the next travel food adventure somewhere around the world. Let's go.